Hello friends, welcome back to YouTube. So in this series, we are going to learn about the JavaScript fundamentals. So talking about this series, we will be moving from the JavaScript beginner to somewhat in between intermediate and advanced level. We will learn about the fundamentals of JavaScript, data types, basic control structures, functions, callback functions, important functions, basic DOM manipulation, object oriented JavaScript, async, await and promises, and then move to work with the APIs and much more coming in this series guys. So in this video, we'll try to answer the some of the questions like what is JavaScript? Where does JavaScript code run? Why we need JavaScript? What can be developed with JavaScript? And check out the some of the big products that are using JavaScript to build their most of the components. So what is JavaScript? JavaScript is one of the most famous language of the world. It is a high level language. It uses the GIT that is just in time compiler. That is, it is interpreted at the time of execution and then executed. It is dynamic in nature. That is, it is weakly type. For example, like we see the languages like C or C++ where we need to specify the data type for each item. And once the data type for each variable or item is defined, we cannot change it. But this is not in the case of JavaScript. It is dynamically typed. So once you define the variable with the type of string, you can change it to anything. So it might sound confusing at this time. We'll just take a look at this topic in the brief in the next video. So where does JavaScript code actually run? The JavaScript was originally designed to run in a browser. So every browser supports a built-in object called JavaScript engine. So JavaScript engine is responsible for the execution of a JavaScript code. You can take the look at some of the most famous JavaScript engine on the screen. For example, the Chrome uses a V8 and the Mozilla uses a spider monkey and the Internet Explorer uses Chakra. So all of these JavaScript engine confirms the one basic standardization or a specification from the ECMAScript. ECMAScript is basically a specification defining the standard for each code. So basically all the JavaScript engine follows the ECMAScript specification. The JavaScript nowadays is used to run in the servers as well. That is, we can build the backend and the frontend with the JavaScript. The JavaScript in the backend can be run using a Node.js. So Node.js is basically a C++ program that provides a wrapper to execute the JavaScript code. In that manner, the JavaScript code is now available to be executed on a server site. So why should we learn JavaScript? There are plenty of reasons for this. The number one, this is the most famous language of the world being used nowadays for a development. Every company or enterprise prefer to use JavaScript for the development of their products because it is easy, rapid development and effective also. So definitely it's job oriented. It is also useful for cross platform development like React Native. So React Native is basically a JavaScript library that help you to build the cross platform app that is the same code will eventually work for different platforms for example android and ios the same code of a javascript can run on a both the devices even they have a different platform javascript has a large support available and lots of frameworks and libraries like react.js angular and vue are nowadays being preferred by a company for the development and they are javascript based the syntax is really simple, easy and ready to go. And as we have discussed earlier, this can be used for both front end and back end as like the JavaScript nowadays is used for full stack development. So you can just learn a one single language to build the complete products that works across the devices and platforms. You can have a look at the big tech giants company that are using JavaScript to build their most of the products. So I don't see any reason to leave the JavaScript behind. So let's get started and dive into the JavaScript. So from the next video, I'll start to explain the JavaScript concept. So we will discuss about the basic data types, 
in the JavaScript. So just stay tuned to the channel for more upcoming updates. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon.